three supermodels. Erin O'Connor, Caroline Winburn, and the legendary Naomi Campbell are competing to find the next face of Max Factor. You're running for your lives, come on! They must lead teams of novice models. Emma, yeah, don't give me sass. On real life jobs. Yay! I'm gonna be putting up you at this point. Don't let me do that. She is not the face, honey. End of story. Last week. Strong. To the front, to the front, to the front. Uh, 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 uh. A catwalk challenge. I do think it's possible that Team Caroline can win two in a row. I'm gonna give it to Caroline. She's gonna get it from me. But Caroline won a game. <laughs> if you send one of my girls I home, can. I will kill you. This time, she saved Naomi's girl. Chloe, congratulations. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you. Thank you. Perhaps the fear of Naomi's wrath was almost too overwhelming for Caroline. This week, the client is supermodel Rosie Huntingdon Whiteley. We're looking for an advertising shot. This is lingerie made by women for women. She wants an advert to launch her new Marks and Spencer lingerie collection. I have lost two weeks in a row and I do not want to lose a third. I can't afford to lose my girl. I feel the morale slipping in the team. I'm sure Naomi and Erin want me to lose the next challenge so they can take one of my girls out. But I'll try not to. Caroline's visiting the model's house to celebrate two wins in a row. I went over to see my girls to do something that I like to do with my friends. Go gossip, you know, have some wine, talk about boys, <laughs> stuff like that. All right, Team Caroline. Team winning. Ooh, that's what we Naomi is also paying a visit. The house visit for me was to give the fire to my girls to step it up. Take away for yeah. you. <laughs> this is your home. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nice to see you. Thank I wonder what they're doing. Sit around and write in their notebooks. <laughs> it feels amazing that we won so many things, like in this short amount of time. I had no clue that it was going to go so well for our team. I'm not happy that Caroline's won two in a row at all. And I did not come here to lose. You have to. Stop looking at what others are doing and what others are saying. Watch what you're doing and focus on what you need to get under your belt, you know? Tomorrow, the teams must compete in a lingerie shoot. Today's masterclass is being held by Caroline, one of the world's most successful lingerie models. The lesson is how to look comfortable in unnatural situations. Hi, girls. Hi. Some of you guys are very stiff when you model and you really need to learn how to be more relaxed and free and at ease with yourself. So today I thought I'm going to try and loosen you guys up. I'm going to test you on your ability to take a good photo while you're jumping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now watch closely. I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay. 
You have to control every part of your body, and you have to control your face, your fingers, your feet. You have to make sure everything looks good while you're up in the air. It's pretty tricky. She makes it look so easy. Every single picture we saw, her face was perfect, her body was completely in control. An angel mid-air with no wings, that's what she looked like. I want to see who in this room can take the best photo and I want you to do it while you're modelling handbags. You have to make sure you show off the product because no one wants to buy a handbag that you can't see. Chloe Jasmine, do you want to go first? Absolutely. I really let my team down on the previous challenge and I won't let that happen again. I can't let that happen again. But my face could look like Frankenstein's monster on a very bad day if I get this wrong. Modeling is all about detail and making everything in the picture look good. Yeah, be careful with your scarf, it's tricky because it's flying yeah, in your yeah. face. Your angle of your face. The way you hold your eye. If the smallest thing goes wrong, it can ruin the whole picture. Oof, <laughs> looks like you're giving birth. <laughs> It's okay. Nina Seti, she did these huge jumps, which kind of wasn't so gracious, and the ponytail flew up. So it just looked like she had like a pineapple coming out of her head. It's a little tough with their face up. That's much better. Your face always looks very beautiful. Thank you. And maybe try and separate your legs. Okay. Yeah, there wasn't a big separation of the leg. Emma found this task a little bit difficult. In every picture, she kept her legs together, so it didn't look very graceful. And I actually did tell her to separate her legs, but she didn't. You have to have both feet off the ground, otherwise it doesn't count. You're still keeping one foot on the ground. You put it still on the ground. All right. <laughs> well done. So to the results. The model who came in last forgot to show the product at all. And that is a big problem. It was you, Emma. Obviously, it doesn't feel great to have come last. And I think that maybe I was getting a bit too complacent. I also think Naomi's going to be quite disappointed in me, so I'm a bit scared. One photo stood out more than any of the others. It was a small moment of magic where every element fell into place. It was your photo, Chloe. Oh, my God. Well done. <laughs> Chloe really nailed one of her pictures. The scarf came together, she showed off her bag, her face looked pretty, and the jump looked effortless. That's all you need, just one picture. It felt simply amazing to win my first masterclass. I feel very proud of myself. Obviously, it was to do with the best shot, and I'd just like to thank myself for providing it. <laughs> and for all of you, tomorrow another campaign lies ahead. The competition is getting more and more serious. That evening, after fighting in previous weeks, Team Naomi are spending time apart. Team Caroline are really gorgeous, vivacious girls. I get on especially well with Brooke and Nina. They're really sweet individuals. We have a lot in common. I can't have a conversation with Raquel without it turning into an argument. So, obviously, I'm going to go and speak to some of the other sane members in this house. Team Erin are discussing the masterclass. 
Elia, and if you listen, then we can do well. And you, you need to stop saying that word, listen. <laughs> but the, it's the truth. The one, I did like, not... You can't like, understand what's going on. Like, she was telling you to jump higher and it only took you to your last frame. She, like, that's too risky. Don't fucking start being serious. Gone yeah, but you're not listening no. to us. You're not listening to us, full stop. We've lost two challenges in a row now. And my job as mentor is to build my girls up again and quick. The morning of the campaign. In a Mayfair studio, the models are waiting to find out today's brief. Everyone else is expecting us to fail because we've been winning so far. <laughs> yeah. Just I think we've got really proof, yeah. today. Proof that we can continue our winning streak. The atmosphere in our room is so icy you could hear a pin drop. I haven't spoken to Raquel this morning because she's chosen to blank me. I'm not quite sure why this has happened. I don't think you guys want to be a group with me. It's very Absolutely. difficult for me. You run to team Erin, you run to team Caroline. How does, how does that make me feel as the team member of Let's team Let's grow up. You just want to get on with this task today? Do you, you want to lose you again? You are the one. Angry, I'm very relaxed. I'm not angry, I just would like us all to behave. We need to just get our act together. I mean, what would Naomi say to this? Across town, supermodel Rosie Huntington-Whiteley is setting the brief. She's designed a new lingerie range for Marks and Spencer. She wants the teams to make a magazine ad for it. The sexiness should be subtle, it should be gentle, sophisticated. But not overtly sexual, but yeah. very sensual feeling, yeah. quite intimate. Yeah. Quiet and yeah. gentle. And it should feel sexy. Sexy for a woman, you know, it's, yeah. it's very, very different. Susie Jenkinson is head of lingerie at Marks & Spencer. She'll help Rosie decide which team's photo is best. What's important to me is that we show the product yeah. mm -hmm. at its best. Yeah. And I'm looking for, you know, is the bra strap sitting correctly? Yeah. Is the yeah. knicker sitting in the right place? Yeah. We want to appeal to customers in this advert and hopefully inspire new customers to come and have a look at the range. OK. It's going to be a challenge for a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> And it is. We have to win this challenge. We have lost two campaigns in a row. Today's campaign challenge is fantastic for Team E. It's about lingerie, it's about bodies, and all of my girls have strong bodies. I feel like maybe there's a little pressure on me because, you know, I have been doing a lot of lingerie, but, you know, it's also up to the girls in the end to kind of make the picture. Before their mentors arrive, the teams are expected to plan their shoot. I think I'm a bit naked. <laughs> yeah, but you can be naked. Look at that. Mm. I, I need something that covers me up. I have a very curvaceous shape, so it has to be flattering whatever I wear. I need, like, styling help. Um, no. <laughs> no. This is not good. I just don't know what to say about this guy. It's just awful. I'm just not happy with what Chloe chose then. It's just not working. I don't like it, to be honest. OK. Not everything works for everybody. You have to know what works for you, you know? And I just think what Chloe chose then is not working for her nor the product. If I was a man, I wouldn't be turned on by seeing it. <laughs> I'd rather pants on to look like my legs. <laughs> but you have great legs. I think the nakedness does throw you slightly, but I'm pretty excited to do it. I just need to get over this little wobble of confidence. The mentors arrive to finish planning with their teams. Hello, girls. Hi. How are you feeling? Good. 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 I think we have a pretty good team for laundry, don't you think? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Putting on lingerie and modelling, you know, it's really not for everyone. Make sure we put a lot of lotion, some yeah. shimmer here. I mean, I'm telling you, when I do underwear shirts, I'm like, can you put some makeup on my ass? You yeah. don't care about my face. <laughs> <laughs>
there's a stylist fiddling with your g-string and there's people all like handling your boobs so it's kind of like I mean for me I'm like whatever you know it's fine but I think for a lot of people it's very uncomfortable I'm a bit nervous because like I know you don't need to be sexy but you need to like show off the bra and knickers and I feel like I'm a bit of a nerd like a dorky kind of awkward girl well. so <laughs> you gotta look confident you know you can't go in looking a bit oh nervous so you need to get into a different mindset I do think team Erin is suited to this challenge Nina has an amazing body she's the tallest girl in a competition and this campaign challenge was made for her Nina mother nature has blessed you <laughs> <laughs> and that's a great thing and I purposely put Nina in the best underwear because it's a moment for her to shine which set did you guys want to wear? We, we chose the middle one. The one yeah. I like yeah. too. <laughs> surprise, surprise. There is a choice of sets and props. The teams have had to plan how to use them. We kind of envision like girl, like girly, you know, just getting Simple, ready yeah. or you know, yeah. just kind of chilling out. Yeah, chilling out. You know, maybe looking. One can maybe look in the mirror. You know, one can sit around. You know, we can kind of work it out. So now I'm going to sit down and you're going to show me what you guys planned. Naomi doesn't know her team have been arguing this morning. Between the dressing room table and the chaton. Well, what props are you using? What have you picked? We were thinking yeah, of no, this. I don't want to hear about thinking. Okay, what so have you picked? This one. I, think, I think in terms of space, this is good, but this one has a, a lot, lot of props. Yeah, I one. think this one. They done nothing. They plan nothing. I don't want them to depend on me because I will not be with them when they go into the real world. Show me something. And then I think one of us should sit here yeah. with one leg sorry, <laughs> and one leg over. Like that was just a big mess for me, a disgrace. You guys, you seem so lost. I'm so disappointed right now. Specifically you, Emma, because yesterday I was told that you were the worst in the master class, that you did not listen and you did not try at all. You should be striving every day to learn more, to do more. If you're not willing to try, Emma, then maybe you shouldn't be here. Maybe I could be here like I'm finding you or something. Don't you know? touch her. I know I won't touch her, but like... Don't step over the cake so it's not going to work around her. This looks messy. I can't tell you how messy it looks. I do not want to lose for the third time. Yes, yes. I hope you guys put it together. Oh, God help you all. God help you all. Campaign day. The teams are competing to create a lingerie magazine ad. It's Marks and Spencer's huge brand. Don't blow it. Rosie Huntingdon Whiteley and MS head of lingerie Susie Jenkinson have arrived to judge the shoot. Rosie's going to be in the room, so I secretly feel really under pressure. I know how to thank you. I would say it's my pleasure, but. I'm very worried, girls. I don't know what to say. I'm just going to put my head in the oven and close my eyes. I really do hope we can put these ridiculous tensions aside and get some morale and some team enthusiasm. If we don't, we're going to lose for the third time in a row. First up, Team Naomi. Hello. They should be showing me what they've learned and putting it all into this challenge. If it's a mess, I'm walking out because I don't want to be embarrassed. Watching on, the opposition mentors and the client. So, Naomi, happy with what yeah. you see? OK, let's go. Fantastic. Great. Naomi is unaware that a team have been arguing in recent days. Chin down. The most important thing about a lingerie shoot is that the girls look happy and relaxed on camera. This is an advert. If the models do not look like they love that product, there's no customer that will. Smile. You're, you, you're hanging out in a slumber party at home. Show your teeth. Really big smile. Smile, Emma. Smile. Mm. That's um, natural. You can smell more than that. You're 18 years old, for God's sake. 
Emma, I'm finding you stiff. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Raquel, focus to the camera. Chin down, Raquel. Clearly, it does not look relaxed. Raquel, hands down, it's too much. Do it again. Where's your playfulness? Larry. <laughs> She's such a drama queen. Easy, Chloe. Chloe, stop with the. Just be easy. Chloe, too theatrical. It has to be effortless. Too theatrical, Chloe. Just tone it down a touch. Mm. You can't help yourself, can you? Oh. Calm it down. You're not listening at all. <laughs> don't laugh at Chloe, Emma. OK. And don't answer back your mentor. Oh. Laugh, laugh. All of you laugh. Laugh. It's not easy when you have the client in the room when you're working. I just hope you've done enough for Rosie. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you so much. Thank well done. you. Thank you. Next up, Team Erin, also looking for their first victory. We need a break now, Timmy. We need to have a moment where we have something positive happen. Just relax. This is warm and gentle. And you are forgetting that there's a room full of people here. I think Erin is a... Uh... Clearly very maternal. Let's yeah. start shooting then. Just relax into it. And Sienna, I want you really straight into camera. Sensual. Warmer in your eyes, Sienna. That colour just sings on Sienna's skin. It looks so gorgeous. That's it. Great. I mean, his body looks good, but the face is a little strange. She's not comfortable in her body. It's this beautiful body she has, too. <laughs> Nina, bring your body forward. Let's see those lovely assets. You should be nice and be proud. Nina, bring your shoulders a bit round so I can see. So we can see the bra. Remember, this is the product. Keep your posture, Elia. Lovely. Nice, Elia. Nice. Nina looks stiff. Nina, sit up a little bit taller. Uh. Nina, back in the room. Uh. Lovely girls. Nice. That looks awkward. That's like a girl group. But um, it's not my team. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Well done, girls. <laughs> Nina. She has the most exceptional body. And ironically, it seems like she's the most self-conscious. Last to shoot, Team Caroline. Hi, girls. It's the most surreal thing. Rosie Huntington Whiteley, Erin O'Connor, Naomi Campbell, and Caroline Winberg watching us model. Like, not many people can say that in their lifetime. Look into the camera. You think about something great. Right. Yeah, that's nice. Open the robe ever so slightly on the bra. Yeah. yeah, it's so important, you know, in an advertising shot that you really get to see what the product is, you are selling a product. Yeah, absolutely. Up. Yeah. And remember to show off the details. Beautiful. Eleanor's got a great, great figure for a laundry. Really stunning, romantic face. I have to say, it's the best I've seen of all the girls mm. today.
Maybe they were laughing at someone just to put us off. <laughs> Not so serious. And apparently it worked. I think it affected Brooke. If someone sees someone laughing, you know, you get insecure. And Brooke, maybe you look at me. I'm here. Remember, keep your face ready. When I get nervous, my whole body kind of flushes with this, like, red rash. <laughs> Brooke, Brooke smiley. It's hard for me to remain confident in me when my body's kind of, like, shouting, you're really nervous. Elena, come a little bit closer. Yeah, Great, yeah. that's nice. You guys are selling these underwear. You will have to look happy. Relax. We're in a good mood. That's Pretty nice. girls. Great. OK, laugh, laugh, laugh. <laughs> that composition is more relaxed now. Mm -hmm. And have that little sparkle in your eye. They look relaxed, though. They don't look nervous. My girls did. So did you. All right. Well done. Good job, guys. Aww. I did get distracted by Naomi being there and like laughing at us. You don't know who she was laughing at. Like, don't take it to heart. No. It's shake it off. Yeah. The shoot is complete. Rosie and Susie must decide which picture they want to use. Well, thank you very much for having us. I really enjoyed today. The yeah. girls are all gorgeous and shining. Um, so we've had a look through, and uh, we're going to talk you through our feelings. <gasps> so this is Naomi's team. What I love about this is the strength of all the girls. And I think the product looks absolutely fantastic. It does. On all three, but I think perhaps, you know, what I would have liked to have seen is a little more kind of warmth and femininity. So, Erin, this is your shot. Uh, the girls were great, very sweet. Yeah. They were quiet. They had a sort of inner confidence mm, um, and subtlety to them. I think one of the things that was imp important within our brief was also to make sure the girls looked like they were kind of really enjoying wearing the yeah. lingerie. And I think the model on the right actually looks very soft and feminine, but I think Nina looks a little bit uncomfortable, perhaps. She's not body confident yet. What? And for me, she has this killer <laughs> body. She's got a Look at those abs! Up... Caroline's team. This is your shot. Um, the product looks fantastic, I have to say. A little bit of advice. I would have loved that the robe was just Slightly more open more on the bra, open, so yeah. you got the little detail. But I really like this one. Well, we reached a decision. I really thank you all for your effort. It was really, really fantastic for me to watch. But there was one standout shot. And that was Caroline's team. Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> oh, you didn't see that coming, did you? I will get one of Caroline's girls in the elimination room. I just need to have a challenge where it's, they're not always looking for the girl next door. Love that you've got your notebooks, because you're going to need them. For the third week in a row, Naomi and Erin have lost. One of their teams will soon be down to just two girls. I want to always build you up, but I think I owe you the truth now. You did not win this challenge. Third one in a row for Team E. We've got to step it up, guys. Hello. Hello, Caroline. Hi, girls. Team Caroline remain undefeated. I think you guys did well. And we won again. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Once again, Caroline will get to choose which of her rival's girls to send home. I'm very proud of my girls, again, and nothing makes me happier than when they win. And then now I'm like, hmm, I can win all of this. I chose Happy. very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. team is very good. The verdict of this challenge, we didn't win. <gasps> 
Team Caroline won again. Oh, my God. I'm very disappointed. Just be supportive to each other. I don't want any fighting. Most importantly, keep the team morale, okay? okay. This is how it goes in the real world, so bye-bye. <laughs> I had a strange I feeling. Think, that I might think happen. you two should be happy that Team Caroline, because you guys seem like you're Team Caroline, so I don't know. And I'm very upset. We did our best, Rachel. That, that's what worked for Team Caroline as well. They are unified as a team, like they stick together regardless. And that's exactly what Naomi is looking for from us. She expects us to live up to some morality where Team Naomi is concerned. I am ashamed to say I think there is none. Are you done? Finished? All right, good. I'm glad we had that conversation. That was really fun. The two other teams are probably pretty nervous because they know that one team is going to be left with only two girls, which is, you know, I would be pretty scared myself. Today, a model from one of the losing teams will be going home. I have no idea who Naomi would choose. And right now, things are not looking too good for them because it's her team that's not working together as a team. Eliane, how are you feeling about the show? Um, mm -hmm. um, just looking forward. I just want to get over and done with. And the thing is, it was so difficult on our campaign shoot because in the morning, uh, Raquel and Emma weren't speaking. God, it was just so awkward. And I think maybe some of that hostility came off in our campaign shoot. I really, really think so. We've been really lucky that we haven't really had any big disputes at all. Now, Naomi and Erin must each nominate a girl from their own team for elimination. Good morning. Good morning. I have to be honest, I have walked through this door and I still don't know whom I'm going to choose. I am not happy where we're at in this competition at all with Team Naomi. I'm very disappointed. I am a more than capable model to help and mentor you. And it's either I'm doing it wrong or you're just not listening. You need to be focused. Emma, you are 18 years old. You look like an old woman. You look like you got the hump. I felt like it was just all a little bit whatever. I don't take whatever is in Team Naomi. Raquel, soften. Now everyone's gonna wanna see hard. I needed to bring you down, soften you. Chloe, the theatrics were still coming out. I kept telling you, stop, 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 stop. Don't do this, don't do that. But it was hard for me to help control you and mentor you if you don't listen. This was meant to be warm and comfortable. And unfortunately, we produced the opposite. I think the person I need to put up for elimination today is Nina. I have to put you forward because the judges highlighted you yesterday. They were wowed by your body, and yet it was clear to me that you were uncomfortable. I was so confident on your behalf that this was your moment to come through as Nina. I'm going to base this decision today on this challenge only. So my decision, who I will send up for elimination today, I'm afraid, will have to be Chloe. For you're not listening, mm -hmm. and it's something I've been telling you since day one, get rid of the theatrics. I have to put you up. I'm really That's sorry. That's all right, no, don't worry. And I just want to say, I think we did very well in this challenge. It doesn't matter what you think, we didn't win. It's none of your business what you think. It's what the client likes and sees, because what you think doesn't make Crap all to the, who cares? Who cares? Did it get you the job? No. So it doesn't matter. That's right, don't worry. So 
Let's give you a hug. Thank you. And hope that you Take care. Come I've on, done girls. It before and hopefully I'll be coming You've back. done it before, but it's let me right. tell you something. You don't go in there fighting for whatever Aaron is putting up. Okay. You fight for yourself this time. I don't want to ask, did you fight for it, Chloe? I don't want to ask that. You just better do it. So you need to, again, listen. Okay. And do action. No more you thinking. Because thinking is not getting you anywhere. All right? Thank you, love. Sorry. See you in a bit. Hopefully I'll come back. I don't know if I am. And, um... If not, it was lovely meeting you. Chloe, please don't, don't cry. cry. You're literally the sweetest girl. Don't cry. Don't cry, Chloe. I don't think it's time for me to go just yet. And I think I've got great potential and I'm only just starting to realise it now. Yeah, Naomi wants me to fight. I have a 50% chance of surviving. I can only hope that Caroline's generosity extends to another week in this competition. This is your first time here. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? Really nervous. <laughs> really nervous? Yeah. I'm also quite surprised that in all the pictures I see of you, you look almost scared. And, you know, I'm, I'm just worried that, because you're such a beautiful girl, you're tall, you have an amazing body, you have beautiful hair, but you can never get a job if you're always going to look frightened. Yeah. I think that's just um, because I am really new to modelling. Um, I think confidence will only come with my experience, but yeah, obviously. <laughs> Even now, you know, standing in front of me, I don't feel like you're passionate enough. Yeah. Um, my biggest traits of my personality is that I'm hardworking and it is that I'm listening. And just being in this whole experience, being surrounded by massive names has made me really realise just what my potential is. Chloe, you're back here again. I know. Why do you think? Naomi said I was being theatrical again. You've been told every week by every client that you're overdoing it. Well, to be honest with you, Caroline, um, Team Naomi have had a very rocky ride with the group dynamic. In fact, 20 minutes before the shoot, Tensions were so high, and one member of our team was not talking to the other two. On yeah, just but I think behaving. you can't make an excuse for oh, that. No, not at all. In the end, the client doesn't care what happened to you before the shoot. Absolutely. But if you come there and you don't listen to them, that's no good. And all I want to know is how to become better and how to grow and how to do this properly. But you're not, you don't seem like you're willing to learn because you don't listen. I want to learn so much. I'm writing down everything Naomi says to me. I'm reading it before I go to bed. Tomorrow is a new day and I want to learn. And I've got a goal in life and that's to be a model, a serious model. And without a goal or an obstacle, you're just running through a green cricket pitch for the rest of your life. You need to know what you're doing. And I need to be here. I love being here. I love every day. It's just like a dream come true. And I don't want it to stop. I just love every minute. And I'm so willing to listen. Nina, you know, if you're the spokesperson for a brand, you have to give them some personality. And yeah. sometimes I just get the feeling that you're not a very expressive person. I think, to be honest, like, that's probably my fear of failing. And that's probably my slight personal barrier. Most models, it comes natural. And for me, it doesn't seem like it comes very natural to you because you look so scared in all the pictures. And that's a big problem. Chloe, yes. I feel like you do have a huge personality. You make me smile because sometimes it amuses me and sometimes I think you're great. And I, you know, I think a lot of people really like that because you actually come in with energy. But I'm just worried that every week is the same problem with you. This is a very hard decision for me to make. I think it's my hardest one yet. I feel like there's one of you that 
still you can mold and make a better model and someone that listens to the mentor and to the people around them. And that's you, Nina. So, I want you. you to stay. Chloe, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Nina, you can rejoin your team. So you went in, you listened. Yeah. Welcome back to Team A. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling good. I have three girls in my team, but now we've got a competition to win, and I'm going to keep reminding them of that loud and clear. Well done, congratulations. I have no idea what the future holds. I'm not Mystic Meg. But whatever I do, I'll choose to enjoy it and I'll choose to be true to myself. I'd like to thank my mother for believing in me. I'm coming home. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. There's one team missing. Yeah, they went into the room. Oh. Hello. Nothing to say. Naomi's upset, but I feel like she should be more upset with her team than she is with me. The girls in Naomi's team are not getting along. After the elimination, Chloe told me that they did fight before that picture was taken. I was not happy at all. Now it makes total sense to me why I got the picture that we got. Something was bothering you, and it comes out in the picture. It comes out in the picture for both of you. None of you looked happy. None of you could have smiled. None of you could have been sweet because you've been fighting 10 minutes before. You don't know how to switch it on and off. So this is why I got this picture. I've asked you from day one, do not fight amongst yourselves. Please come to me. I've said that to you. I don't know what it is, but we just cannot get along all the time. We really do try. We but try. it's affecting the work, and that's what bothers me. I have my career. You guys don't. You want what I have. And for me, it's a waste of my time. It really has shocked me because I really thought that I put the fear of God into them. And obviously I wasn't strong enough. So now it's left me with no other choice but to really give it to them, which is exactly what I'm gonna do.